Hello friends, welcome to CrackGate CSE and in this series of algorithm, today we will be understanding the time complexity of Prim's algorithm. So in the previous video, we have discussed what is Prim's algorithm, what are the different steps of Prim's algorithm and how we can find out the minimum cost spanning tree from a particular graph using the Prim's algorithm. So in this video, we will be finding out the time complexity using two data structure that is adjacency list and main heap. So before starting this video, I would like to request you all if you have not subscribed to my channel till now, please subscribe this channel and press the notification icon so that you can get an update whenever I am uploading a new video. Now let's start with the time complexity. So see, I am having this particular graph. I am taking a graph with six vertices and 10 edges. So in this graph, I am having six vertices and 10 edges. So what are the steps to find out the time complexity? So here we will be dealing the detailed analysis of time complexity so that you can find out how to get the time complexity using any data structure. Instead of main heap, there can be any sorted array or double link list. You can easily get how to find out the time complexity using any data structure. So as we are dealing with the min heap here, so first of all we need to create a min heap of size v because we are having v number of vertices. So we have to create a min heap of size v where every node of min heap contain key value. So while creating the min heap, I will be initializing some values with the each vertex. So this is the first step. Second we have to initialize root key values as 0 comma null. So this 0 will be the minimum value to reach that particular node and this n will be the parent that from where you came to that particular node. So we will be understanding this with help of an example when we are calculating it. And third step is while main heap is empty. So we have to repeat these two steps until unless the main heap becomes empty. So what are these two steps? First, extract the minimum value from min heap. Like in the Prim's algorithm, we always do, we always extract the minimum edge weight. So here also we have to extract minimum value for min heap and for every adjacent vertex of selected value. For example, if we have selected u here, if we have selected u vertex here, then we have to select, we have to find out every adjacent vertex of this u and perform the decrease q operation because we are initializing it as infinite and whenever we are going to any other vertex is whatever will be the value it will be less than infinite so we will be applying the decrease key operation now as we got a new term here decrease key operation so first of all we need to understand what is decrease key operation so to explain this decrease key operation i am having here a min heap so I'm having here a min heap and in, in this min heap, I will be applying the decrease key operation and the increase key operation. So the decrease key operation always decreases a value by some another values. For example, here I have to decrease the value 120 as 5. So if I decrease the value of 120 as 5, now this heap, this min heap does not longer satisfies the properties of min heap. Then after updating this value, we have to apply the procedure of min heap phi. And if I apply the procedure of min heap phi, I have to shift this value upward. That means 5 will be here and instead of 5, 60 will be here. Then this 5 will be here and 30 will be here. Similarly, this 5 will go upward here and this 10 will come here. So you can see that the min heap phi always take order of log n here because we are having v vertex so we can consider that it will take order of log v. So in worst case the decrease key operation can take log v time in worst and average case also. So in average case and worst case it will take order of log v by this but it can also take order of 1 in best case how for example instead of 120 i have to replace it by 119 if i replace it by 119 it does not 
distort the order of this particular min heap and we do not need to apply, uh, apply the min heapify procedure in that case it will give you the best case similarly if i perform if we want to perform the increase increase key operations like i have to perform increase key operation at 150 and i have to update the value as 500 so if i update the value as 500 this is the best case that means order of 1 because it does not distort the properties of min heap but if i have to update any other values like if i have to update the value of 30 as 65 if i have to update the value of 30 as 65 then if we know that it will not satisfy the property of min heap then we have to apply the min heap if i process then again it will take log v order of log v for average and worst case so by this analysis we can say that in min heap or max heap whether it is a min heap or max heap the increase key operation increase key operation and decrease key operation increase key operation and decrease key operation will take order of log v time order of log v time in average and worst case and order of 1 in best case so we got to know how this decrease key operations work and how this increase key operations work in min heap so we will be using this decrease key operation while finding the time complexity now let's try to find out the time complexity using this particular example so we know what are the basics required to find out the time complexity of Prim's algorithm so see this is the particular example that I showed you earlier so this is the example and these are the steps first step was that create min heap of size v every node of min heap contain key values and initialize root key values as 0 n and, and uh, infinite n for rest of the values so what i did here is i created a min heap i build a min heap and while building a min heap i initialize these value so i want to take a as root so i put 0 and n 0 is the minimum value to reach a and is the parent of a so there is no parent of a this word it is null similarly for b i am in initializing the minimum value as infinite and the parent as n so it will take order of v time so we have selected this a now i have to do i have to perform the decrease key operation on the adjacent vertex so first of all i need to find out the adjacent vertices so see if i try to find out the adjacent vertices i am using the adjacency list here to find out the adjacent vertex of a so you can see that how many adjacent vertex are there three so i am having three adjacent vertex and if i want to perform the decrease q operations on b c d i have to perform decrease q operation and b c d that means i have to perform decrease q operation at three places and each decrease key operation will take log v that means if i want to perform the decrease key operation on both on all these three it will take three log v so it is for finding out the adjacency and it is for the decrease key operation now let's update the value so b earlier it was infinite now if you go from a to b it will be 7 and what will be the parent of b a so i updated this value so first of all i have to select this it will take log v time so if you want to delete any uh, element from min heap it always take the log v time right so i deleted a after deleting a i am performing the decrease key operation on the adjacent vertices so i applied on b now if i apply on c it will be 2 because 2 is the cost and what what is the a parent of c a similarly for d it value will be 6 and parent will be a for e and f it will remain same that is 
इन्फानाइट एन इन्फानाइट एन सो वी डिड दिस नाउ अगेन आई हैव टू सेलेक्ट द मिनिमम वैल्यू सो वॉट इज द मिनिमम वैल्यू टू कॉमा ए दैट मीन्स दिस सी नीड्स टू बी सेलेक्टेड एंड इफ आई एक्सट्रैक्ट दिस सी अगेन इट विल टेक लॉग वी टाइम बिकॉज डिलीशन टेक लॉग वी एंड नाउ वी सेलेक्टेड सी now we have to find out the adjacent vertex of c so how many adjacent vertices are there for c a b e f d five vertices so five is the adjacency and at how many place we have to perform the decrease key operation we have to perform the decrease key operation at b e f and d because a has already been covered and has been deleted from the min heap that means a no longer exist in the min heap so we have to apply decrease key operation at four place therefore it is 4 log v now update the values for b it is 7 but if you go from c it will be 6 so updated this value and this is 6a for d and here this is same so no need to update and if you want to update you can do so so this is 6a only for e c2 is 9 parent is c and for f Value is five and parent is c. So I did this. Now again I have to delete the minimum value. So five comma five c is the next minimum. So I am extracting this one. So it will again take log v and we have selected the f. Sorry, I have selected the f value now. Now for f, how many adjacent vertices is possible? One, two, three. So we have to perform the decrease key operation at three places but at instead of three c has been already covered so a has been covered c has been covered now we are at f so from f i can do the decrease key operation at two places therefore 2 log v now again i have to perform the decrease key operation from f to e so that means b will be same that is 6 to c d c Here it is six. Now, now new value is three. So it will be three f. For e, it will be instead of eight, it will be instead of nine, it will be eight from f. And this has been deleted. Now, again we have to find out the next minimum. Extract the next minimum, which is d. So we have deleted d. It will take log v time. Again, I have to perform the decrease key operation. At how many places we have to perform the decrease key operation? A, sorry, how many adjacent vertices are there? A, C, F. That means three adjacent vertices. Vertices. And at how many places I have to perform the decrease key operation? C. A is covered. C is covered. And F is also covered. That means zero log V. That means we cannot update. We can just simply write the previous value like this. Now, what is the next minimum? B is the next minimum. So, I am selecting B now, which will take log v operation when we delete it. Now, what is the adjacent of B? E, C, A. That means three adjacent. And at how many places you can perform the decrease key operation? Only at one place. That is E. So, one log v. So here it is eight f, but the new value is four. That means we have to decrease and four, and the parent will be B. Now we have to select the next minimum. So four to B has been selected, which will take log v time, and E vertex has been selected. Now what are the uh, adjacent vertices of E? F, C, B. That means three adjacent vertices, and because these are already covered, so how many places you can perform the decrease key operation? Nowhere. That means at zero place. So zero log v. So you can see that. I have deleted all the vertex. That means I got a connectivity between all the vertices with minimum cost. See how we got. First, I selected A. Then I selected C. That means this A to C has been selected. After C, I have selected F. That means this F has been selected. After this F, I have selected D. This D is selected. After this is the I have selected B, but from where that B has been selected? This B has been selected from C because C is the parent. So this is one, and from this B we have selected E. So this is one. So here you can find out that this is the 
minimum spanning tree so if you sum up all these edges you will be getting the uh, you will be getting the minimum cost of this spanning tree but here our concern is to find out the time complexity so how we can find out the time complexity now see uh, let me try to write here let me shift it slightly to that part okay so see this order of log v so first of all what i did for the time complexity i created a heap which took order of v time let me write at a new place just give me a second all right so see how you can find out the time complexity what is the, what is the first step first step was to build a heap and initialize the value how much time has been taken in this order of v so i can write v time has been taken to build the heap next we have deleted the v vertices how many vertices are there v is the number of vertices we have deleted v vertices and each v vertex take the log v time so i can write it as v log v because we have deleted six vertices and six is the number of vertices so v log v next next how many edges are there see how many adjacency we have found out if you sum up all of these it will be twice the number of edges here the edges are 10 and if you sum up these values you will be getting 20 that means 2e and this 2e is for finding the adjacency so i am writing it as 2e plus what we did over here it is nothing but so it is nothing but it is e log v we perform the decrease operation e times and each time it take log v time so i can write it as e log v so this is the final equation using which you can find out the time complexity for any of the data structure you just need to remember few steps like what see first of all we need to initialize first of all we need to initialize for any data structure no matter whether it is an array or build heap or sorted double linked list so first we have to initialize then we have to delete the minimum value and every time it is taking log v here in min heap but in some other data structure it may take something other than log v we will see that in next video so and this log a is to find adjacency this log v is to find the adjacency and this e log a is for the decrease key operation and now if you try to write down the final equation for the time complexity we know that in this v and v log v it will dominate because it is having the higher value so i can write it as v log v and in these two it will be having the more weighted so e log v so finally we can write it as v plus e log v so this is the time complexity so order of v comma v plus e log v this is the final time complexity using adjacency list and min heap so it is using adjacency list and min heap and in the next video now i will be coming up with few next video to explain you that how you can find out the time complexity using the different data structure like if you want to find out the time complexity using the adjacency matrix and min heap then how, what will change over here and if you find out the time complexity using the adjacency list and normal array how it will be different so in the part 2 of this time complexity of PIMS algorithm we will be discussing the change in the time complexity with respect to the change in the data structure on the basis of this particular four steps so i hope that you got an idea how we can find out the time complexity so this is all about the detailed analysis of time complexity in prince algorithm so i hope you found this video useful if yes please like this video comment 
your feedback in the comment box and because your comments are really appreciating and if you appreciate my efforts it will be motivation for you motivation for me sorry so if i feel motivated i will be working hard to give you more such videos so thank you very much for your support if you haven't subscribed please subscribe this channel and press the notification icon for the latest update keep supporting keep learning have a great day